lights out Thanks for letting me know Am I under arrest or am I free to go? Welcome back, everyone, to the High Times Cannabis Cup. It's Saturday. We're sitting at the desk here, and we've got a guest joining us from the great state of Michigan, also with the Planet Green Trees show that is on our 420 radio lineup. Tell people your name and who you're involved with. Yeah, this is Jamie Lowell, and uh, came out here from Michigan to the uh, to the Cup to check things out. I'm, I'm uh, actually with a, uh, a testing laboratory, ACT Labs, one of the few ISO-certified labs in the country, and and uh, we're just talking to other people and getting an idea of uh, what's going on in that regard for testing in this industry. Then I am also involved with dispensing in Michigan, separate from that, and and also planting green trees, as you mentioned, and and just try to help out in a lot of different ways. Currently, we just formed a ballot group for legalization in 2016 in Michigan, and I sit on that with other uh, activists in Michigan, such as Matt Abel, who a lot of people know nationally, and several others. And we're going to try to make some things happen there. We also have some uh, legislation that we need to get through uh, that's doing very well. It almost passed at the end of last session. And then we're waiting on some uh, court decisions to see what happens with that. So I'm sure this sounds familiar to a lot of people who have lived in states who have been through this process, and that's where we are now. And and I think it looks good. I think the momentum's on our side. And I know you guys had great success in Oregon recently. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we're looking forward to Michigan and other states that are moving forward for 2016. And you mentioned some of the court cases. I know, uh, and I follow Michigan from afar, but recently wasn't there some case about making edibles legal or not legal, something in that respect, medicated? Yeah, well, that, that's legislation, actually. Okay. That's a result of a bad court decision in, okay. the, in the Court of Appeals. Yeah, so the Court of Appeals said that that wasn't legal. Medi Anything other than then dried leaves or dried flour uh, was not in the definition of usable marijuana and so that called into question uh, things as such as infused products and concentrates and things like that. So if you had some usable marijuana, it's perfectly legal to have as a patient, but the minute you put it in a brownie, it's not? Um, well, it's hard to read the language because it literally <laughs> makes no sense in the, in the, in the ruling, but it, it, it infers that it perhaps if there's particulate matter in there, then maybe that's okay because then they oh. have something to, you know, like test or see what's going on with or how much is there. Or okay, like so that. if I put my bud on top of a cupcake, <laughs> you can see the bud. Now it's okay. Yeah. What a, it, it's really, it, it underscores when you put together these initiatives, you put together these laws, how you have to give due diligence to all these little details that some of us might take for granted. You think, well, if weed's legal, then a weed brownie's legal. Well, it depends on how you write it. Exactly. And right. Of course, we know where some states that don't allow the smokable forms and only yeah. allow the other kind. So it's, that's the, the logic that we're dealing with here, as you're familiar. So the legislation then is to make it so the medicated edibles are legal. How is that moving? Well, it, it almost passed at the end of last session. There's also a dispensary bill, um, but the edibles bill I believe is even stronger than the dispensary bill, and it requires a 75% vote of the legislature because it changes the existing act. Okay. And uh, but there seems to be the support for that for sure, and they're still kind of working on getting the support for the dispensaries. But it looks promising. All right, all right. Well, that's good news for the patients out there in the state of Michigan. And of course, we're moving forward to 2016, looking for legalization to happen. Can you give us any details on what the proposal is for legalization? Yeah, well, there are actually some competing ideas. As oh, okay. Also, what happens in other states. There's yeah. one, the investor model, that seems to be moving itself around the country and uh, working in Ohio right now. Yeah. Uh, buy is buy being yourself discussed. a cartel. Yeah. Huh? yeah, so that's being discussed. They have not formed a ballot group yet, but they've made it known that they're, you know, there. There's another group that seems to be somewhat reasonable, but more business-oriented and not as specific as a lot of us from the community would like to see, particularly as we saw the medical laws and the lack of implementation and mm -hmm. that type of thing. So uh, we're talking with some of these other groups and seeing what's really possible and understanding that you can't have really competing ballot initiatives and expect to win. And um, yeah, we're really working on it. We think that 2016 is ripe and it's really worth being flexible and communicative, but we need a few things to be in place for for those of us who've been working at this for a while to be somewhat comfortable with the whole process. Gotcha, Jamie. All right, so if uh, folks want to get involved in helping either uh, improve the medical system in Michigan or get on board with this 2016 legalization, what are some of the groups or contact info they ought to have? Well, amilegalized.com. Amilegalized? 
dot com? No, just legalize. Am I legalized? Oh, am I? Okay. Am like the I? The letter M, the letter I, not like am I. Right, right, right. <laughs> I was like, am I legalized? Yes, well, you are. Uh, I feel legal. <laughs> <laughs> no, am I like Michigan? Am I legalized? Dot com. That's, get some info. That's right. Okay. And, and all the all the other uh, usual suspects are there, plus some other cool uh, groups: Sons and Daughters United, uh, Moms, uh, or. or M- Moms United to end the war on drugs yeah, yeah, with Charmy yeah. Golson and and sons and daughters are here right now. Oh good, um, they're outside and and uh, that's uh, Josie Scoggin and company. So. Oh fantastic! Well, we've got uh, some of our uh, other 420 radio folks here. They're probably outside checking them out. We're going to make our, our rounds outside and interview a whole bunch of people. So we're glad to see Michigan in the house. Some Midwesterners here uh, enjoying the freedom of the High Times Cannabis Cup here in Denver. This is great. This is uh, this lets us know what you know what is possible. You were at the Michigan Cup. That's where we. Matt, uh, yep. so it's not your first cup. Is it, is it your first Denver Cup? It's my first Denver Cup. I, I went to, I've been to two in Michigan so far, and I will certainly be there again this year. Right and possibly another location that I'm hearing being discussed right now, too. Excellent. Well, Jamie, thank you for joining us here at the desk, and uh, good luck for everything going on in Michigan. We hope you're legal soon. Thank you very much. All right, back to the Cannabis Cup. Don't you know that still we like the hobby? Yes, money and money and friend and friend. Me I put no money before my brethren. Them a red shit and I kill. Fill it 